Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I had a lot of questions about how did I go about adding a video player to Unity. So the scene that I've been showing you in Twitter recently, it's basically an isometric room. And one of the things that I tried was why don't I just add some video playing on the TV on the second floor. So on this video, I wanna actually go into, you know, practice and showing you in Unity. What I actually do, what I actually do to do that, and I'll also take the opportunity to show you the scene a little bit. But I'll have other videos where we go and create a scene exactly like the scene that I that I, that you can see behind, and you'll see in Unity in the next few minutes. So let's actually get going. Thanks, guys. All right, so we're looking at the Unity scene right now, and if you if you look, I have a model, a pretty simple model of a TV inside of an isometric room. It's actually composed of, so I have a mesh render on this object, and it's a, it's a simple mesh with basically another mesh behind it. So if we look at the hierarchy, I have basically the main camera right there, I have the directional light, the, the monitor screen TV, it's the mess object that it's on the auto layer, and then I have all the objects for the, for the actual room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the hierarchy and go into the video option, click on video player. And this is gonna create a video player game object and it has basically a video player script associated with it with few options. I have a video clip as the, as, as the source. You can actually do a URL if you like, if you had a video that was on somewhere on the web. For this example, we're just gonna use a video that I that I drop into the project previously, and the, which is basically going to be linked in the in the video clip. So, if we pull the video clip, so you're basically just going to select the video clip, and we want to play on awake. We also want to wait for the first frame. We want to loop the video because I want to show you how the video keeps playing and looping through. And then the playback speed, we're gonna we're gonna leave it at zero. And I'm gonna select material override because I want my material to be specific. I want to be able to control how the look and feel of the movie it's gonna look on the TV. And now we just basically have to link the object where we're gonna be rendering the video. So we're gonna drag and drop the monitor screen TV over to the renderer. And that's pretty much all we have to do. So if we hit, if we hit play, you're gonna see the the video playing on the TV, which is actually pretty cool. And I can go around and I can see the video playing. So if we wanted to control how the video, because you might have you know a darker video or you want, you want to control how it looks like. So if we go back to the monitor screen and we click on the on the material that is associate, associated with that, if you look at the main maps, this texture is basically the video player link. So you can actually go here and we can control how the video looks like. So if I wanted to, you know, be red, you can change the color there. If I want it to be really dark, if you wanted to control the, the opacity, which in this case, it doesn't really makes a change. So, and you can also, you know, control a lot of different, a, a lot of different things in here. If you wanted to change the illumination, you could do that as well. So that's how you go about adding a video player to Unity. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. I appreciate your time and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna be creating a lot more videos about, you know, hands-on and, and actually working in Unity. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Thank you again, I appreciate it.